We start with our newsmaker segment and look at a city that rarely generates controversy and therefore is rarely discussed on ruckus. The city is Westwood, a small, mostly white community of about 1,500 in Johnson County, not far west of the Country Club Plaza. Until recently, the city has primarily contained single-family homes. But a new apartment and retail complex at 47th and Rainbow, with a second phase on the way, has generated debate about future development plans, tax increment financing, and what kind of a city Westwood residents want. Here to talk about all that and probably more is attorney Jim Orr, who previously served as Westwood City Attorney. Jim, welcome to Ruckus. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. You bet. Good to be here. Let's uh, get what side you're on. You're with a recently formed neighborhood association that's not really happy about what's going on. Is that fair to say? That's that's exactly right. I'm I'm here representing no one. I'm here on my own behalf, but I am part of that uh, part of that group. Yes. And you were once the Westwood City Attorney. I was. Yes. Uh, when did you leave that job? Oh gosh, uh, that's a pop quiz. Well, I, I guess the, the, the real question is: Were you involved as city attorney when this development uh, phase began? No, I was not. Okay, no. uh, I drove around Westwood the other day, as I often do. I, I like to go in that area a lot nearby, and I looked for the signs that I knew existed, and I found one. I think we showed it on in our introduction mm -hmm. to the piece, and if I jotted my notes down correctly, it says single family only, no medium density. That's right, Mike. Well, uh, what does that mean? Well, what's the point? Well, uh, part of the concern about this development is that it's inconsistent with the, the history and, and the makeup of the city of Westwood. Westwood's been an overwhelmingly single-family residential community since, since before its incorporation, in fact. That's, uh, that's reflected not only the obvious demographics, but in the, the wishes of the citizens through comprehensive planning processes, and most recently through the yard sign campaign. Uh, what this project uh, does is injects uh, uh, a wholly unusual and risky uh, element into the city. It's inconsistent with the way the city uh, fabric operates right now. It's potentially damaging or certainly not supportive of the keynote of the city, which is its support for public education and its local grade school. And then there are a lot of risks and concerns well, inherent in this kind of project. How is it risky? Well, I mean, how does it affect the school system? How it affects the school system? Yeah. A couple of ways. Uh, first of all, you've got 330 apartments, very high-end apartments, $2,500 a month for a right. two-bedroom apartment. That changes the demographics of the city, or at least certainly doesn't add to the demographics that will support a grade school. Westwood View Grade School has an outsized uh, impact or, uh, upon the city. It's really part and parcel of the city's identity, its brand. And, and so you're not bringing in people that are likely to have kids that will populate the school. More importantly, in my judgment, because of the use of, of tax, uh, tax incentives, TIF in particular, you erode the, um, uh, the financial support for the city. Well, if there's such disdain for this plan, how did it come into existence? Well, the... Uh, uh, the and was there a public vote? Was this an no, action no, by no, the city not, council? It's, it's action by the city council. Was it not part of the city's master plan? Well, the city's master plan, no, <laughs> I think would be a short answer. There are a number of... Is there a city master, yes, master plan? Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. is. Uh, uh, and and that's, that's a little bit of a trick question. Uh, the city's master plan had not been changed in many, many years. It had been looked at but not changed. And after this was underway, the city went back and uh, has engaged in a comprehensive plan review. So it's a little bit cart before the horse. Okay. It, well, what do you and those who think like you do want done? Well, what we would like to do is uh, uh, see projects like this analyzed with a lot more critical thought. For example, for example, it's fine. It's fine to criticize Governor Brownback for having cockamamie economic plans that erode public education. But then you've got to look at the cockamamie economic plans of the city of Westwood that erode public education and say, we shouldn't be doing TIF in a little community like this. We should be making sure that any development creates tax dollars that go to our school. And uh, you have fear, I think, about what this might do to the value of your homes? Uh, that's not a personal concern uh, for me. I'm more concerned about uh, the fact that you're adding three to five hundred, well, more than three to five hundred. It's a 330 unit par apartment complex, so four to five hundred adults in a city that only has 1,100 adults. And this is helped by tax increment financing, is it not? It's got the whole alphabet soup, Mike. It's got tax increment financing, it's got CID, it's got IRB, industrial revenue bond financing, and the city's even giving land 
uh, to the developer. And very quickly, there's a second phase to this development. What is it? The second phase is more mixed use in apartments, a substantial number of apartments, I think 240 some. Here's the problem. That second phase missed its cost projections by 79%. That second phase is likely to cost $16, $17 million more than they predicted. And they're already about a year late on this project. So what's scary? The city's got a lot of money in this. They're missing deadlines. They're missing cost projections. They're now asking for more tax money to support them. And my concern is this is going to become, maybe already has become, those scary words, too big to fail. Okay, we'll continue to watch it. Perhaps we can get you to come back in a few months and let us know how things have developed. Hope so. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, that is attorney Jim Orr of Westwood. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.